I've been thinking about the double clutch life, about the double clutch life I'm living. I've been thinking about the double clutch life, about the double clutch life I'm living. The rain and snow, hot and cold, the catnap scales of black and gold. Every day I color my book and keep the BOT behind me. Hey everybody, I'm Indiana Jack. If you ever need to be towed out of a bad situation in Jacksonville, Florida, give the company Troy's Towing Service a call. They'll help you get out of a bad situation just like what I was in in this video. You don't want to be in a situation like that. You can find them on the internet. Just look them up or call 904-378-0006. They'll come and help you. All right, I'm checking out of the hotel, going over to the dealership. Hopefully, I'll uh, I'll have my truck today. Hopefully. Okay, this is the EGR valve. We got that approved and we're putting that in. Once they put that in, they were still getting the error codes and it wouldn't do a regen, so they had to put in an EGR cooler and that's what you're looking at right there. That's where the EGR cooler goes, right there right along there and then hooked up to there goes the turbo right there and then the tube runs along here going right up to there once we put those things on we realized the mechanic said it's still it won't do a regen we're gonna have to do something else now it was given the codes of the DPF unit. So they had to take the whole DPF unit off and have it cleaned. That's what you're looking at right now, the DPF unit. That's the bottom canister. And this is like the filter thing that goes inside. Hey. All right, here's the DPF unit when it's clean. It just got back from Kenworth and uh, cleaned over there. It took them well over 24 hours to clean it. It's like a honeycomb all throughout that whole thing. Now if I could just get them to put it together, we could try a regen. They're just finishing up putting the uh, DPF filter on or the DPF unit. Uh, the guy's been working back there for about an hour or so putting it all together. He just got all uh, back from Kenworth. So they're putting it on. Then we're going to do a regen. If the regen does okay, then we'll be good to go.
been here eight days. And when you're here for that long, you want to eat. I guess it helps you with your stress. I guess I'm stressed. So would you be. All right, here's the latest. That part that connects right there with those and that and that were causing a uh, another error code so it wouldn't uh, still wouldn't regen. So because of that we're waiting for that part. And once he puts that part in, it's supposedly going to regen, I'm hoping. Uh, with that one little part will be the last thing after, we, after the eighth day. This is the eighth day. It's Wednesday. But that'll be what it takes to finally get this done. Even with that little relay sensor valve put on there, it still wouldn't regen. I was going ballistic at this point. Inside my head, I'm just not the type that goes ballistic, but if I did, I would be going ballistic at that point. So what they realized, and Cummins helped them on the phone, they realized it was the original culprit. They had a bad EGR valve. The very first thing we put on, that was bad. This is the bad EGR valve. Well, it's Tuesday, the 12th of September, and they're just finishing tallying up the final bill for all the work that I had done. And about 10 o'clock at night so I get in my truck tonight be the first night that I've been in my truck in eight days I'm Indiana Jack